Hello chess fans, we're back with another rapid chess video against Shoko Komi. Okay, we're going to go for the modern defense. I think it's a pretty interesting option. So bishop g7 to put pressure on the pawn. And we'll see what we see. Okay, so we see g3. So there's a few options here. Like I could go c5. I'm worried about d5 though. So let's go d6. Now knight c6 putting pressure on the pawn. I expect castles. c4 is also definitely playable. And now... Bishop g4 looks interesting. I think it invites this, but I'm just going to go for bishop d7. Go for what I know. This is uh, Hikaru's attacking setup against this sort of g3 setup with the modern. It's very interesting. And okay, we see b3. Immediately, b3 doesn't really strike me as a good move because my bishop is like, it's a lot better than yours. And immediately, I, like, I want to sack here and go like c5. I don't think it works because he can just go like bishop b2. So I'm just going to go queen c8 looking for... Uh, bishop h3 followed by h4 h5 maybe knight h6 so he goes rookie one which i think is reasonable so now bishop h3 now h4 h5 is coming i expect bishop b2 again i don't think i don't think bishop b2 is the right plan but okay let's go here if he takes this is a classic just takes takes and then queen g4 is checkmate i don't think my opponent will go for that but yeah, already I don't think we should be doing too badly here. I assume the position may be plus 0 0.5 probably. Usually the engine likes white here, but I think that this is this is really not that good for white. I don't believe it is. I can go like here. I can also go for like queen transfer. But the main thing here is that this bishop is better than this bishop because he can never go d5. Okay, so he goes knight c3, which is just like, it's not really a move you want to be playing. So let's take, I assume he'll take this way. In which case, like, okay, rookie ones even doesn't really make much sense. Okay, he takes that way. It's a little bit strange. Ah, uh, okay, I think I see his idea. He wants to go d5 without having to worry about um, my knight jumping in. So I could go queen f5, I think. Queen f5 kind of invites e4, in which case I'm thinking that I have to put my hopes here on this move, queen h5. What if a knight h2, queen h7 is crazy? So yeah, I think I'm going to go queen f5. Am I worried about knight b5? No, I can just castle queen side. So yeah, looks good to me. If he goes here, am I worried about that? I don't think so. Takes, takes, and then knight b5. If I castle queen side though, yeah, my pawn on a7 does hang, but I don't think I care. So yeah, I just want to go queen h5 and checkmate my opponent. So we'll see what they do. I think that we should be doing fine here. Maybe I should have gone bishop g4 during the here. Yeah, bishop g4 might have been better. So queen h5. Now I want to go bishop g4. Yeah, maybe bishop g4 immediately was better. But I'm not sure. But now we've sort of got what we wanted. We transferred the queen over here. Also, am I turning... Bishop f1? Yeah, I'm actually threatening bishop f1, which is like a crazy move, but... The idea is if I go bishop g2, he can just take. But if I go bishop f1, he can't go bishop g2 because then I take. So is bishop f1 winning on the spot? Um, He can take with a king, though. Yeah, so I think bishop g4 actually might just be winning then. Bishop g4... I'm threatening checkmate, so his only move is to go here, and then, what, I just put more pressure? Ooh, and it looks pretty winning, but I'm not sure. Knight d4, I, like, I really want to say it's winning, but I don't see what to do on here. I really don't see what to do on rook there. Yeah, maybe, maybe I rushed that. Maybe I should have gone knight e5 right away. No, but then he takes. Yeah, so I guess I did play the best option. Knight d4, rook e3. Mm. Takes, bishop takes. Okay, let's go knight e5. I don't know, this just feels more solid to me. Rook e3 is like forced, right? Oh, do I have bishop here? Bishop h6? 
Bishop h6, knight b5. Bishop h6, knight b5, takes here. Yeah, it doesn't work also because this would then be pinned. Yeah, rook e3. Okay, is there any immediate tactics like knockout blows, takes, takes here, or takes, bishop takes, check here, check, he goes king e2. I don't think so. So maybe it's safest to just castle queen side. He can't move his knight because then I have this check and then I win. Or he can actually. He can go knight here because if I go takes, takes. No, I can go takes. I win, yeah, because I'm on the queen, yeah. Okay, well, okay, knight a4. Okay. Oh, yeah, knight a4. He can play that. Yeah, I forgot about knight a4 actually. Hmm. I just feel I really should be winning, but I don't really see how. Is there any sort of tactics with like takes? Bishop takes, takes here, queen takes, check, king here, takes, takes. I know this is a long line, and then check, and if the king moves here, then I win the rook. Is that is that working? Okay, let's calculate one more time. Knight takes here, bishop takes, uh, bishop takes, queen has to take, queen h2, king h1, takes, takes, queen h1, game over. Let's go for it. I don't see any options he has. Do I want to throw in this first? I don't think so. So let's take here, attacking the queen. Now queen h2. King f1 is forced, takes here. And then queen h1 should just be game over, I assume. I don't see any options for white here. So I think, yeah, wow, just a really, really clean game, honestly. But yeah, I think this setup is uh, extremely dangerous. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't really expect to win in 20 moves. That was quite probably lucky. I don't think my opponent played their best game. But okay, let's take a look at the game. So yeah, I think that's a very good advertisement for this opening. Like I just beat a 2400 basically in 20 moves with this opening as black. So I decided to go for d6, and yeah, Engine actually doesn't even hate this position that much after d6 here, but after knight c6, yeah, it does. So, yeah, it says bishop d7, it's just ridiculous, but uh, yeah, so knight c6 here, bishop d7 is sort of the move here. Now, yeah, bishop g4 is also interesting here, and the only reason I didn't go for it is because of d5, knight e5, and I don't know, like, I don't like him getting h3 off. For example, if our bishop is already on d7 after d5, uh, there's no h3 with tempo. So yeah, h3 is usually a nice move for him. He gets some luft, prevents the attack on the queen side. And here, at least if he plays h3, like he's down a tempo after here, here, I can go h5, go here, knight g4, and it gets interesting. But instead of that, after I went bishop d7, he went b3. So b3, I think, honestly, at this point, I think b3 is just a bad move. It just doesn't make any sense. Why are you opening up this diagonal? Yes, I don't have c5 to like immediately punish you, but... I feel that what makes more sense is to play c4 here. That's what's been played in the Masters database. And after uh, queen c8, something like knight c3, bishop here, and I don't know, like rook e1, something like this is what usually happens in these sort of games. And then I try to push this pawn. I had over the board game like this. Okay, but queen c2, rook e1. And yeah, at, at this point, okay, I thought, I thought this position was plus 0 0.5 because the engine for some reason likes black here. But yeah, or sorry, likes white here. But already, yeah, I'm pretty much completely winning. Uh, not completely winning, but I'm slightly better. But it's very difficult. So yeah, here, maybe they have to continue with bishop b2 and just forget about this. Like go knight dd2 after h5. Yeah, even now the engine's just switching its mind. So I think this whole b3 plan was just not very good. And maybe maybe the reason why is because um, against after knight f6, uh, after castles, castles, here I'm pretty sure, yeah, one of the main lines is with this b3 move against the king's Indian. And the idea is you're just simply going to try to go for e4 at some point. And then here after c5, like that's the main line and it's, it's probably roughly equal. But here I don't even have c5, right? So my opponent probably thought, oh, this is an even better version, but no, it's not. So I went for this, I go for h5 and yeah, after h4, it's already very bad. And here they went for h takes. 
Yeah, I thought F takes was better in the game. It's usually better to take with the F pawn so that you can defend laterally. Now, uh, I'm not really sure why they were thinking to take here. Maybe take towards the center is sometimes usually correct. So I guess in this position, they might have thought it's correct too. But yeah, usually uh, when your opponent opens the H file like this, it's usually better to take with the F pawn. So I went queen f5 and queen f5 is one of the best moves. Queen g4 is slightly better. Is bishop g4 not the right move? Knight d5, yeah, and then my queen would never go. So I actually didn't see that. I just got lucky. But yeah, knight d5. Well, e6, knight e3. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did not even see that maneuver whatsoever. But yeah, sometimes you play the best move without actually knowing why it's the best move. So I guess a little bit lucky on my part there. So here, uh, yeah, I was expecting e4, and I went here, and he went for d5, and yet this is just completely lost. I castled. So is there anything better? Knight f6 is apparently better. So knight f6, I don't know why knight b5 is no good. Takes, takes. Knight takes e4 is absolutely ridiculous. So I can't take here, obviously, because made in one. So what's the threat? Let's say I pass, take here. Okay, check here. And then, oh, queen f2 is the threat. Okay. So they have to cover queen f2. It's impossible. And yeah, it says takes here is the best move. Wow. Wow. And then takes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I did not even consider that for one millisecond. I just kind of saw knight b5, end of calculation. And if you don't go knight e4, you can also go, or you have to go takes, takes, knight e4. Yeah, what's wrong with knight e4 right away? Bishop e5. Okay, wow. Yeah. That's a very interesting move. I didn't I didn't calculate that at all, but I said I went for castles. I think it's way more natural, and yeah, here clearly, like this bishop is just horrible here. So here knight a4, and I think this line is just winning. Yeah, so takes was a blunder. They should go for rook takes f3, but okay. Who's who's really gonna play rook takes f3? It's such a sad move to play, and after here, takes takes, just go down the exchange. Oh, even worse here. And then check here. Knight e5, yeah, this is just this is just abysmal, but okay, they decide to lose like this instead. And yeah, here they resigned in view of knight takes and then queen h1. And then after king e2, just takes here and should be game over quickly. So yeah, that's the end of today's video, guys. If you liked the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe and check out my other videos on this opening because I think it's very dangerous and very good at the amateur level.